guys. I've got a, a big pipe tonight, the Bule, beautiful pipe. There we go, lovely. It's got thick walls. I'm smoking something with thick walls because I'm smoking a what's a blast from the past to me, which is gold block. I've not smoked it for decades to be honest. Don't think I have anyway. Used to be one of the main tobaccos that guys around here used to smoke. It was the Condor, the Gold Block, and St. Bruno. Erin Moore as well, I think. They were probably the main four ones. Over the counter tobaccos that Lancashire, Lancashire lads used to like. I remember we used to go to the fly fishing club meetings and with a few mates and we'd get our pipes out and get plenty of grubbles from the non-smokers who'd fling the windows open because we'd all be smoking our pipes and this was one of the main ones. I've outgrown it really because it's, it's very mild, it's Virginia. And it's it's uh, white burly. It's quite sweet, but it's uh, you've got to smoke it gently, or else it does really get hot, and it can bite as well. And it's quite a good mixer. You can mix it with others. But it uh, it does bring back memories. I can feel it quite warm in this already, and I'm not smoking it too fast. They used to call it the aristocrat of pipe tobaccos. Not sure why really. But um, when you're used to the stronger Lakelands, even the medium Lakelands, it's, it tastes quite hollow. I'd say if anything, the, the Virginia's more prominent than the Burley. But every now and then you get the, the Burley kicking in and there's a slight... Uh, herbaceous tartiness there which is like some of the early brands you get in the states. I, th I think a lot of stateside smokers would like it that are used to things like uh, half and half and Carter Hall and Bain's Edge with that type of thing because it is very mellow. Might just suit them you know for the gentle puffing away but for a uh, for Lakeland smokers then they're going to be lacking because it's not got much in the uh, body strength and nicotine strength not at all really but nevertheless uh, a lot of people used to mix it with a St Bruno which was another Ogden's blend and uh, I might do that one of these days to refresh my memory to see what it's like. 50-50, Gold Block and Bruno. And these days if I've got Bruno and I'm fishing it's usually the Cherry Bruno. Mix it with um, mix it with some good cherry like a uh, exclusive or something like that. But nevertheless it's, it's always good to try old ones that you've forgotten about. My brother used to smoke nothing but this one, score block. And now I think he's gone on to the, uh, the mild version of Condor. I've never tried that, I don't really want to because I, I like the ready rub Condor in the green packet and the, and the long cut. So I really wouldn't want to go in down the shade from that. But no, it's, uh, it is, it's... Uh, I smelt it in the packet this I thought oh yeah I've forgotten that smell it really took me back to the sort of 70s and 80s it really is um, one of those tobaccos that yeah gives you a, a sort of grassy uh, sort of red red type of um, aroma in the packet that's that sort of stays with you it's amazing how a, how a smell of a tobacco can take you back so many years it's amazing 
Oh, wow, yeah, I've forgotten about that smell. It's, uh, it's like un unlocking a, a doorway to a, a part of yourself that you've forgotten about. So anyway, that's a few thoughts on the on the gold block. And I'd like to thank Simon again for refreshing my memory on this one. So, hope you're all having a good night, guys, and look after yourselves. Thanks for watching. Take care.